Good morning. There it is. So who attended the PDP tutorial yesterday? Nice, all 500 of you. This will be exactly one seventh of that time. Uh, we're gonna start with APNIC. Now, these proposals include two that are focused on V6 allocation policy. They just require folks to let APNIC know what their hierarchy is, what their usage is when they're requesting V6. Uh, there's another one to prohibit, to prohibit transfers for five years out of their final slash eight. Uh, all three of these reach consensus at the last meeting, which puts them into last call. Some stuff that didn't reach consensus, uh, that includes an importing of RIPE's no need policy, and that does include the caveat that if the space came from an RIR with needs-based policies like ours, uh, that the organization requesting would have to prove 50% usage over five years. There's another one that focuses on temporary transfers, and one that focuses on merging two pools together, the recovered pool and the 103 slash eight. None of these reached consensus, so they were put back to the mailing list for more discussion. This mailing list is something that you can subscribe to. Uh, talk to any, any APNIC staff that are here or just visit their website if you want inf more information about that. Uh, AFRINIC, lots going on in AFRINIC. Uh, this is one out of two, so let's talk about here. Uh, we've got one specified transfer uh, policy procedure proposal that's actually uh, gotten ratified. There's just pending implementation at this point. A few things that didn't quite reach consensus yet. Um, lame delegation reporting, aggregate V4 issuance, and a rewrite of the PDP, a rather extensive rewrite of the PDP uh, that are still on the table. Also on the table, a proposal to have AFRINIC deny services to uh, government entities that shut down or deny internet services for their citizens. A resource usage audit proposal and a rewrite of their soft landing policies. As far as LACNIC is concerned, they have a one-way transfer proposal that did not reach consensus after a number of meetings uh, that has gone back to the list, but what did reach consensus are the other three. Uh, this includes modifying the resource recovery process. It actually puts an intermediate step into that process, which specifically uh, removes reverse DNS delegations uh, before the resources are actually recovered. Uh, there's also a proposal to shorten the last call period to 30 days. That doesn't actually affect the, la the last call that these three proposals are in, but it would take effect thereafter. There we go. Also reaching consensus, a proposal to let organizations come back to LACNIC if they have a new addressing plan that requires more space and then an adjustment to the subsequent allocation policy for IPv6 that actually mirrors what I just presented for AP NIC. It was the same, the same author, the same idea, show your hierarchy, your usage, what you're gonna use the space for. RIPE NCC, we have a proposal defining V6 sub-assignments as a 64 or shorter. That did reach consensus and is in a, or actually it passed through initial discussion. It hasn't reached consensus just yet. Uh, but it's in their sort of second phase of discussion. Uh, still on the table in early discussion is uh, their abuse contact validation procedure proposal and then another for reducing the V4 allocation. For everything I did not say, go here, and for questions, go there or there. Nada. All right. Any questions? on the regional PDP report? Oh, thank you, Sean.